Hi, I'm Dave Stukas. I'm a pediatric allergist and immunologist, and I work at Nationwide Children's Hospital in Columbus, Ohio. I'd like to talk about a common misconception about shellfish allergy causing an increased risk for having an allergic reaction to contrast media that people may receive when they get CT scans or other imaging studies. And one of the things I like to do is really blow up some of these common myths and misperceptions that are out there and, and really investigate the origins of these and look at the evidence behind them. Well, when it comes to shellfish allergy and radio contrast media, it's really fascinating because this goes back almost 40 years. And the best I can tell, this originated with a uh, report, a publication by a single author, who basically asked a bunch of people whether they ever had an allergic reaction to contrast media before. This was never corroborated by testing or follow-up measures or anything like that. Among those people who reported a prior allergic reaction to contrast media, they also asked them, what other allergies do you have? Well, lo and behold, about 15% of those same people said, I'm allergic to shellfish. Interestingly, 15% of those people also reported that they were allergic to things like egg, milk, and chocolate. I never understood why to this day nobody ever asked about a chocolate allergy prior to ordering a CT scan. So based upon this report, there was concern that there might be a link between the two. Now the next part is even more fascinating to me. So the best that I can tell what happened next was that physicians tried to create the link and understand this better. And there was a suggestion that perhaps it was due to iodine. Iodine is present inside shellfish. It's also present inside radio contrast media in high amounts. And therefore physicians probably thought, ah, this is probably the reason why. Well, there's a catch. Iodine is not an allergen. Iodine is something we all have inside our bodies. Iodine is something that's present in table salt. And iodine is quite literally too small to unlock the allergy cells and cause an allergic reaction. Oh, by the way, for people who have shellfish allergy, they're reacting to a muscle protein called tropomyosin. So while shellfish allergy exists and can cause severe life-threatening reactions, it has nothing to do with iodine whatsoever. So this myth has been perpetuated over the last 40 years and routinely, uh, radiologists, cardiologists, and physicians will ask patients who they want to order a contrast media scan whether they have a shellfish allergy. And if they report that they do, that actually may change the test that they order. And they may get a test that is less ideal for their condition. So there is no real link between shellfish allergy and radio contrast media reactions. For people who have a history of having allergic reactions to radio contrast media, then they are at elevated risk of having another reaction should they get it again but we have extremely effective protocols where we can pre-treat those patients with prednisone and antihistamines um, prior to their um, receiving contrast media, which we'd also use a hypoosmolar contrast media reagent, and it can lower the risk to be very, very low. So uh, we all need to work together to help dispel this myth. This is something that I talk to general pediatricians and internal medicine physicians and radiologists about all the time, and it's going to take some time to dispel this common myth, but hopefully this gives some insight as to why you may get asked next time, do you have a shellfish allergy before somebody orders a CT scan?